Hey guys, I am on day seven of my first ever round of 21 day fix. And so I just wanted to do a little recap um, about my first week. So um, I haven't finished the week yet because it's in the morning, but I know that I will not have time to talk to you later. So um, the workouts. I, before 21 day fix, I was weightlifting. Over the summer, I got super into it and I was lifting um, five days a week and I got great results from that. I was still a little fluffy because I wasn't doing uh, cardio, but I had built some mega strength. And then the school year started and I didn't have time to get into the gym. I was, I was, I had 30 minutes in the gym and that was it. And for strength training, that is not enough time. I had to change idea that I was working out for 20 minutes um, and it was only happening three days a week max. Um, so that was the motivation behind getting 21 day fix was I needed a change. I was stuck in a rut. It wasn't working. My progress had waned. Um, I needed something different. So the workouts phenomenal. I was so concerned with the fact that I was already semi in shape. Um, that they were gonna to be too easy, that is not the case at all. I was worried that uh, me being more into lifting, I wasn't going to like the home workouts. Not the case at all. I love them. It is so much easier to just push play at home than to do the whole in and out of the gym routine. Uh, 30 minutes goes by like that and I'm back to whatever I was doing at home. And yesterday it was like, oh, the 30 minutes is done already. Um, so that's just fantastic. I'm very pleased with the workouts and I'm excited to do yoga today because I am so sore. My calves are sore, my hamstrings are sore, my core is sore, my shoulders are sore, sore all over. So um, don't be afraid that they're gonna be too easy if you already have a um, workout regimen going. They're not easy, I've had to modify. The meal plan, I eat pretty healthy already, so it wasn't a huge switch for me. The biggest change was my portions. So um, every day I would take my container of almonds to work for my snack, and the container of almonds was this big, and now it's this big. So. That's not a toy, baby. Go put it away. Go finish your breakfast so we can go to school. Mom problems, right? Okay. Hold on. I'm going to have to pick this back up in a second. Okay. Let's try that again. So I think I left off with the, the portion sizes. So my almond snack got a little smaller. Um, I was really struggling with after dinner when I was making lunches for the next day. I was eating some of the snap pea crisps or, you know, popping some chocolate chips when my daughter wanted chocolate chips and, and not having any gauge of how much of it I was eating. Um, so that has, uh, not completely stopped. I do save one carb to have wherever I want in the day. It's not part of my meal plan. So if I want it for breakfast, I eat it at breakfast. Um, if I don't have it at breakfast, then that is my snacking while I'm making lunches. So I'll fill it up with the popcorn or, or whatever it is that I want to munch on. And um, so I'm still getting my snacking, but it's controlled. And that is the beauty of those uh, colored containers is it controls your eating. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is things that I noticed in the first week. So um, I noticed the meal plan was easy so I've done like counting calories way back when and I've done I tried to do counting macros recently and this is just so simple and my goal was to stick to it to a T for the whole three weeks and um, I did go over a little bit um, two days where I went over on my healthy fats because I forgot to account for some avocado in in my um, sushi and I already had my almonds but it wasn't a lot so I didn't feel too bad about that and then another night I I had a, a, a little bowl of popcorn 
So it was still controlled. I didn't go crazy, but it was definitely bigger than my carb container. It was probably like an extra carb. But um, it could be worse. It was popcorn. <laughs> so I am still happy with that. And I can already kind of, I haven't measured or taken pictures yet after week one, but I can feel tighter. Like um, when I'm in the shower, I just, I can feel my muscles and I think I'm just losing a little bit of body fat is what it is. So my core feels tighter and that's my problem area. That's what I'm working on. Um, so I'm really excited to see the pictures side by side for the first week. Um, not huge changes, but there's definitely been a little change. Something else that I've noticed is I am sleeping so much better. Um, you know, when you wake up and you're like, oh, I feel like I've been sleeping for a year. It's been like that every night this week, along with having like super crazy involved dreams, which only happens when I'm like in a deep sleep. So um, that's just crazy that I don't know if it's the workouts or the, the nutrition, but I'm sleeping better. And then the other thing is, maybe this is the Shakeology, I'm sure it is, is I have had zero cravings, not one. I was really worried going into this that I was going to miss my uh, dessert or that that was going to be what ruined me because normally that's how it was. I'd be so good all day and I'm busy, busy all day teaching. So I don't have time to stray from my healthy foods, but then it's when I get home and I'm stressed. I put the, my daughter to bed and then I come out and every night guys, it would be almond butter, chocolate chips, frozen bananas, which is not unhealthy, but I am talking not two teaspoons of almond butter, like two big tablespoons of almond butter and the frozen bananas usually covered in chocolate plus some chocolate chips on top of that. Um, easily like a 300 calorie snack minimum. So um, I thought that's what I was going to struggle with. I have not wanted that once. The first couple nights I do save my teaspoons of nut butter for the nighttime and the first night I added three chocolate chips onto it and it, it was good and it felt like enough almond butter it felt like enough it didn't feel like I was depriving myself at all two teaspoons is enough it's just when you've gotten yourself used to the two heaping tablespoons or more um, that starts to feel normal and it's it's too much but um I haven't ha I haven't even been ha last night I didn't even have the almond butter I didn't have it so my cravings none I haven't had any sugar since I started which except for those chocolate chips I think I did the, that the first two nights like uh, three chocolate chips three chocolate chips um, no sugar and you know how many times I've tried to do like five day sugar detox and I fail every single time and so I really think that is the Shakeology um, reducing my cravings, which is amazing. So I'm really excited to finish the two weeks, see what other changes, and see that you know day one, day 21 transformation. All right, see you guys next week. Bye.